Do you use AI? How much are you using AI? Well, you need another episode for this. I do use, in short, I, I am trying to keep up. I'm getting educated in this respect. I've been part of some courses and I will start tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the first session. I'm starting a mini MBA in uh, AI optimizing uh, the business. It's a nice. very narrow focus thing that, that I, I need to... I need to learn about this because I have a project coming up uh, related to this. And today I'm using a couple of uh, generative AI solutions like uh, Claude 2 from Anthropic and Pi from uh, Inflection AI. And uh, I use uh, Aria from uh, Opera, which is a free free solution. Uh, and I even use uh, the Bing Autopilot, mm -hmm. whatever it's called today, coming from ChatGPT. But uh, I am looking forward to actually to another technology that it would be uh, a lot more useful for for my my work, and that's related to causal AI. Causal uh, there AI. are not many. Yes, there are not many companies that do this, and it's roughly what it says. It's uh, looking at stuff that is in a certain way, and in a particular context, it can predict that it's going to become something different, or it's going to evolve. So it's about predicting rather than correlation today the generative ai is mostly about correlating stuff finding stuff that is similar and put it together and then give it a voice give it a text or whatever and then you have stuff generated on a screen causal ai will be able hopefully to look um, at data that you look at context to understand context better and then figure out a way to make better predictions and that is very interesting for me but yeah, it before, sounds good. Like, uh, yeah so causal AI is something like, you know, we put a potato and it would show that it would become a French fry or chips later on. It could be, or it could become, I don't know, something else, but yeah, it, is, it is, it is. <laughs> no, it's all right. It, we, there's a lot of hype around this and then uh, you you can talk for hours. I don't, I don't try to get sucked into these conversations because I know very little. Everything is changing a lot. Every day we, we, we see new solutions. The companies are starting to implement or use this uh, fantastic opportunity to create new tools that are in turn implemented and solve things that we never thought of uh, solving. But for me, the only way I'm using it right now is at the brainstorming level uh, when I try to put an idea together. And for that, I'm using a framework that allows me to have the right prompts uh, it's very important to be, to ask the right things mm -hmm. in in the right way with uh, with the, any type of generative AI. So I got uh, two courses I went through to understand how I can use them. And one final thing that I would say about this, I it all started for me by wanting to discuss the ideas from books. That's how it started for me. I did not want to brainstorm stuff. I did not want to create new stuff to generate emails and so on. I wanted someone or something to discuss abstract or silly ideas from books. Someone that will have the patience and the will and knowledge. So for instance,